Okay, this is part four of four. This is a uh, module five textbook project in Excel, the consolidated expenses. We're going to start on page 35, formatting pie charts. And you already did pie charts in module one, so we're going to assume that you remember some of that. So on page 36, it says insert a 3D pie chart on a worksheet. Select the range A5 to B12. Now we're on the consolidated worksheet, so make sure you're selecting the consolidated worksheet. A5 to B12. So A5 is our labels to B12, so that's our data. Click on Insert tab. And then you're going to go to Pie Charts. And then you're going to Insert Pie or Donut Chart. go to the 3D pie. Click the chart title to select the chart. And we're going to change this chart title to 2020 Consolidated Expenses. Select the chart title. There we go. Validating expenses. Step four, deselect the chart title. And click the chart styles button to display the chart styles gallery. So I'm going to click the chart and then chart styles gallery. And we want to apply style nine. Seven, eight, style nine. Click the empty cell or click this chart styles button to close the start child chart styles gallery. Now it says point to the border of the chart. When the pointer changes to a four-headed arrow, drag the chart below the worksheet numbers. So I have a four-pointed arrow. I want to drag it of in this case, approximately cell A15. So we're at the top left corner is in A15. So we're going to put up. Okay. Point to each of the styles in the start chart styles group design tab, and watch the chart change to reflect each style. So we can click on this chart, hold it on the chart styles, and you see that it changes all the different. So it's a preview. Okay, to resize a chart, if necessarily, scroll down to the, you see the bottom of the chart, shift and drag the lower right resizing handle of the chart until it is on F32. So let me click over here to get rid of that. So now I can see F32 is right here. So I'm going to drag the chart down to there. So click on it, get a resizing handle, and drag down the chart. That's F32. Okay. In this chart, the payroll dot slice dominates it because it's so large. The following steps explode the next largest slice of the CD 3D pie chart to draw attention to the second largest contributing instance. And why? Because uh, exploding or offsetting a slice will emphasize it. So click the fuel slice. Right click the selected slice to display the menu. Step two says click, click format data point. Drag the explosion slider to the right until the point box reads 15%. Okay, let me move me out of the way. Point explosion, and it was supposed to be 15%. Fifteen percent. Okay. Select different slices and use uh, explode. That's experiment in the book number three. No, there's no number three to rotate the 3D pie chart. Okay, we have our chart, but it's not laid out the way we want it. We want to rotate it around so we can see the these slices down here at the bottom. 
So we're going to go to uh, right click the chart to display the shortcut menu. And we'll go to 3D rotation. It's going to open our 3D rotation um, uh, taskbar here. In Xbox, X rotation, we want to type in 250. 250 degrees. Okay, so it rotated at 250 degrees, and we can click the close button on that. Okay, now to format the data labels. So it says click the chart elements button to display the chart elements gallery, point to the data labels, and then click the data labels arrow to display the data labels submenu. Okay, so we're going to click the chart, and we're going to click on chart data labels. And this is our sub menu. And it wants us to click on the more options because these are not the ones we want. And it's going to open up our data labels taskbar. And it wants us to do in the label options area, click to display the check marks in the category name, the percentage. Whoops. Okay, I messed something up. Let's go back to it here. Oh, I turned it off. There we go. I'm sorry about that. Okay, so value. Let's see your category name. Percentage. And show leader lines. Click to remove the check marks and any other boxes. In the label position area, click outside in. So outside in, that's where it's going to put the labels. Scroll down to where it says number. And we're going to do percent. Percent. Okay, and then the number of decimal places, we're going to type 1, and then now we're going to go to the text options and the format data labels. Text options, and we're going to do fill text. And then solid feel. Click the color. And we want black text one. Black text one. And that's step four on page 41. Now we're going to page 42. Click the close button on the format data labels pane. One at a time, drag each data label slightly out from the chart to make the leader lines visible. There we go. Now you can see them all. Okay. Add a chart border. If necessary, click the, to select the chart, click the format. So we just gotta click the chart to get up here to the format. So now we're on the format. And then we're gonna click the shape outline, which are these right here. We're gonna click on the shape outline. Uh, and they want blue, gray, accent one. Blue, gray, accent one. Oh, I got lucky. Blue, gray, accent one. For the chart border. Now click on an empty cell. 
and it tells us to click on save so we're going to click the save quick save button now it says to print multiple worksheets so to change the margins and center the printout horizontally this is going to be what it's going to look like when we actually print it so right click the consolidated sheet tab and then click select all sheets because we want to print them all display the page layout tab and then select the page setup dialog box so page layout and then it wants us the page setup dialog launch and how we have it here now if necessary click the page tab our page tab is already selected and then click landscape so we're going to change the page all the pages to landscape page 44 top click the margins tab and then we want a 0.5 margin on both the left and the right uh, margins so left margin 0.5 I have to type it 0.5, the right margin 0.5, horizontally centered on page, and then click OK. The colors of the page setup view. Now it wants us to add a header. So with all the works sheet still selected, click the page layout button on the status bar to display the first worksheet in page layout view. So down here at the very bottom, we have our page layout view. So we're going to click on that, and it's going to show us what it's going to look like on the page. And this is the top of the page, and then we have all these other pages that we have selected. It's not populating correctly, but that's what it would be all the other sheets. Okay, with all the worksheets still selected, okay, if necessary, scroll up until the header area appears. Click the left header box and type in Shelly Cashman. Okay. Tested by your instructor, add your student ID. Or it might ask you to put your name. Let's, let's put our name here. Okay. And then if you, it says to put the student ID, and we're not going to put a student ID, and click the center header. This is a center box area, and you're going to type expense worksheet. And then now on the right header, it wants us to enter the current date. So right header, and up here we have all of our different things. So we have current date, current time, so let's click current date. It's going to put the code in there for current date. Now it wants us to go to the footer. So scroll to the bottom. Here's our footer. And in the middle footer box, it wants us to put the sheet name. Oh no, it wants us to put the page. So you click the middle footer, sheet name button, header and footer design tab. name then push the space bar to add a space between the sheet name and then in the same box we're going to click the page number two so page oops I'm sorry we're supposed to put the word page first page Bar. Now we're going to put the page number. Okay. And then left footer box. It's not supposed to be anything in it. Make sure there's nothing in it. Click anywhere in the worksheet to display. Deselect the page footer. Now click the normal button again. To go back to a normal view. Okay. And preview and print all worksheets in a workbook. It says if necessary, right click any sheet tab and select all worksheets. We should already have it. 
and then we're going to ready the printer click the file my computer is running slow and click on print and then you have the different choices we're going to do no scaling okay so this should help us to get finished with uh, the assignment without having to finish the actual textbook uh, this we're able to upload at this point in time for a grade so uh, there were three different things that I did wrong when I uploaded uh, this particular assignment so I wanted to fix those things first of all in the consolidated worksheet you need to make it 120 percent I think I made the Lady Lobster one 120%, but it needed to be the consolidated worksheet that's 120%. The other thing I did wrong is on this particular line here, I accidentally erased the word expense. Uh, it should say expenses. So go in and fix that. Expenses worksheet. And then the last thing that uh, counted it wrong was the C5 to C12, the custom number formatting. So I'm going to do that over again. I think I did it right, but for some reason it counted it wrong. So let me go over the custom number formatting at one more time. So on the custom number formatting, I'm going to go here, and then I'm going to go back to page 18, and I'm going to put 0.00% with a semicolon. And then a space, and then the bracket magenta, M A G E N T A, and close bracket. And then I'm going to put a parentheses, 0.00% and a close parentheses. And that should give me my custom number format. All right. Well, thank you so much, and I hope you do a very good job on this assignment. I know it was long, but you stuck in there, and now you get the grade. Have a good day.